I've used this approach for many, many years to find bass quickly. It works for me and it can for you too. Going to a brand new body of water can be super intimidating and I've had lots of videos in the past about what I look for, how to break down a lake, but I'm specifically going to be talking about lures that I use and a two lure approach and how it can find bass very, very quickly. I most recently did this on an outing to Lake Toho down in Florida. First time that I had ever been there. I had just a really, really small window of where I was going to get a chance to actually go out and fish just a few hours. And for Florida anglers that have fished this lake before, you know that Lake Toho can be really intimidating the first time you're out there. The hydrilla goes on forever and everything, I mean absolutely everything, looks like it is amazing. So I applied this strategy to my outing and here is exactly what I do no matter what type of new body of water I go to, whether it's a lake or a river system. I'm going to have two horizontally presented lures tied on. One of them is something that I'm going to be able to fish a little bit slower, more finesse I guess you could say. And then the other horizontal lure is going to be a pure reaction bait, something that I can fish really, really quickly to get those fish to react to it, even if they don't want to bite. On my trip to Lake Toho, the two that I chose was a swimming caffeine shad, which is like a paddle tail, soft plastic swim bait. And then I also had tied on a KBD 200 hard jerk bait. Now, why did I pick those two for this particular trip? Well, these Florida lakes are just full of vegetation and the area that I had picked that I had really narrowed down had all kinds of grass that was you know emergent sticking up through the water as well as some pads that were left over and also just a ton of hydrilla and some of that hydrilla was up and emergent on the surface and then in some areas it was down a little bit deeper so that is why I picked those two. That soft jerk bait, that soft paddle tail swim bait just comes through the vegetation, slips through it, slides through it so nicely without getting hung up. And then when the hydrilla dropped down a little bit, when that water deepened up and I had three or four feet on top of the hydrilla, that is when I went to the hard jerk bait. So I would pick one rod up, put it down, and keep swapping back and forth depending on how close that vegetation was to the surface. With two horizontal lures, a, a slower one and a faster reaction one, the, the brilliant part about this or the part that I love so much is I can cover a ton of water. And when you're fishing a new body of water, that's so critically important. I mean, it's important every time you go out to figure out where the bass are and what they're doing. But when you have history on a body of water, you kind of have an idea and know where to start. But when you're on a lake or river system that's completely new, you've got to do some investigating. So horizontal lures for me are what I rely on to investigate. And in this situation, these two worked so incredibly well. In just a few minutes, I had caught my first fish, and then a few casts later, I caught my next fish. And over the next couple of hours, I really dialed in what was going on in an area that was about 100 yards long and maybe 50 yards deep or so. So if you kind of picture that type of a rectangle, that was the area I was really focused on. The only part of the lake that I fished, one, because I wanted to eliminate water and not overwhelm myself, and two, I didn't have a lot of time. I had to go out and try to make something happen right away, and these two lures allowed me to cover that expanse of water quickly and efficiently based on what I was seeing in front of me. Now let's break down what type of horizontal lures would be slower lures or more finesse type of lures. Any of your soft jerk baits are going to work really well, whether they're a paddle tail type of a swim bait, your typical straight tailed soft jerk bait, 
Those work phenomenally well for covering water and coming through some really thick and gnarly stuff. And the other one that I have to add there, and if you watch this channel a lot, you know this one's going to be tied on, and that's a swim jig. I can fish it very slow through the same types of areas that I can those soft jerk baits. Now, as far as my reaction type or my fast lures, horizontal lures that I'm going to use, I really count on two most of the time, and then sometimes a third. One, hard jerk bait, for sure. The strikes that this thing can get is just crazy. Even when fish don't want to bite, they're in like a negative mood. When that thing slashes right in front of them, they cannot help themselves and they will react to it. The other one is going to be a square bill crankbait. And when I tie that on in this situation, I'm going to be burning it. I mean fast. Reel that thing as fast as I can. Start it, stop it, bang it into cover. And the other one that I will use from time to time is a spinner bait. I can really cover some water with that spinner bait and get the fish to react as well by uh, fishing it erratically. Hey, if you would like to watch a video on when spring conditions are just perfect for fishing a hard jerk bait, go ahead and check this one out right here and make sure to go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life. For the Bass Fishing Life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.